Welcome back to Exploratory Data Analysis with R. Once you're done setting up your working area and discovering the structure and main attributes of your data, you are ready to address another crucial topic, the data quality of your data. Data quality is often a neglected topic in courses related to machine learning. Nevertheless, you can ignore it at your peril. First of all, let's define what we do consider when we talk about data quality. To keep it brief, we can define data quality as fit for use. This means that your data have a sufficient data quality if their use will produce reliable results given the purposes of your analysis and the tools you are going to use. To make clear the concept, let me ask you a question. Let's imagine this database shown here stores data related to transactions among different treasury offices within the same company. Nobody has never employed those data and these are simply being stored from automatic processes. Which is the data quality of this database? You may think we need more information to answer this question. The reality is that we already know the answer given the data quality definition we previously introduced. The data quality of this database is perfect and satisfactory. And this is because since data quality is fit for use, and here we have no use at all of the data, their data quality will be optimal by definition. This was a bit of a trick, I know. And nevertheless, I hope it helped you get the point. Data quality simply represents fit for use. It is important to get this concept since it has many relevant implications on your preparatory activities. If, for instance, you know that the model you are going to use is in no way influenced from extreme values and or missing values, the attention you should pay to those kind of data quality problems should be really low. And you should focus on more relevant concepts like, for instance, values outside the physiological domain of your variables. Even if data quality is not an absolute concept and you should define how much data quality you need time by time, this does not mean in any way that you should not take data quality seriously. To get this, we can employ one of the most famous quotes of data analysis, garbage in, garbage out. This simply means that if you use as an output for your analysis garbage, which means data with an insufficient level of quality, you will always get as an output garbage. And this will always be true, no matter how sophisticated and advanced your models will be. So remember, data quality is fit for use, and if you put in your analysis with an insufficient level of quality, you will get as an output unreliable and useless results. You should, therefore, understand and define which level of data quality you need. That is why, within this third section, you will learn how to spot and handle most common data quality problems, like missing values and incoherent data, employing our beloved R language.